Hello, I'm Patty, and welcome back to Keepsakes by Patty Cakes. I'm excited to be back. Um, weather has triggered some of my major health issues and my fibro, and uh, we've had another death in Rod's family. So I'm back now. We'll carry on without me going into my health, but I just wanted to let you know what's been going on and uh, why I haven't been here. Uh, before we get started too, I also wanted to mention that if you haven't done so already, if um, you have any questions you'd like to ask me about junk journaling or anything in particular, it could be personal, um, whatever, uh, I'm going to put the link to the video um, which is actually uh, my one year on YouTube video that has the flip through of my purple medley journal on it. And I will put the link below if you'd like to leave me a question. And I will be doing a video on that after the 7th. And then last but not least, um, huge hugs and loves to Dream with Caroline, Louise Fraser, Sandy Garrett, Beverly Nielsen, Deborah Day, and William R. Thank you very much for your encouraging comments and for watching. And I thank all of my subscribers for being here. Now, if you haven't already and enjoy this video, feel free to su subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you click on the bell icon, you can get notifications of future videos. Now today I'm doing a really easy um, shaker card. So all I've done is I have some of the stackable um, uh, die cuts and I have one for this tag here and it has a few smaller ones. So um, what I did was took the largest one and put the next size in and ran it through my dry die cutting machine. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, that gave me this cutout. And then I also have it without the center piece in to give me the back. Now what I did is I cut this piece out three times and I glued them together and uh, that is uh, how we're going to have enough space in here to put our sequins for the shaker card. So um, in the midst of doing this, um, it was this was the last thing I was cutting, my handle broke off. And I believe this is uh, some type of metal inside of here. But the actual handle broke and I contacted Sussex and uh, because I wanted to buy the whole new handle and they don't sell them. So um, anyways, I've got another used one coming, so I'll be okay with that. Um, so the next thing I did was I cut a piece that I wanted to be in the background of my shaker. And so I'm going to go ahead and glue that on. And you can use any type of paper or design that you want for the background. I just chose to do this one since it's going in my uh, winter journal okay and then once we have that down we're going to go ahead and glue the three pieces now you can see how thick this is with three different pieces there so we'll go ahead and glue this down this is the back Mm 
And I want to make sure to get these corners really good because um, I don't want the pieces going under. So we'll just line these up. this you have it that's pretty good and then before I put um, the acetate on which I've cut a piece out it's not exactly the same size but it'll fit underneath here before I put that on, I want to do something about the edges. Since I did it in cardboard or bookboard, um, I want to make that so the edges um, don't look that bad. Or not bad, but you know, that color. So I'm going to try to use my Nouveau Dream Drops. I was thinking about either that or glitter or something, but first I'm going to try this and try smearing some on and, and see what it looks like. And if you're doing this at home, it might be good to put this under books for a while to dry, but for the sake of the video, I'm just, oops, you know what, that's not going to cover it up, so... I'm going to grab something else. I just realized this is translucent. I don't know why I didn't think of that. But one second and we'll change this out. Okay, so I have some of this uh, Nouveau Embellishment Mousse. And this is in... It's a silver. Does it say on the front? I do it. gunmetal gray, so it is not silver. But this is the color, and it's got like a metallic sheen to it, so I'm gonna try this. See if it helps any. Probably would have been better to use a brush to get in these little crevices, but. I have wax, which might work better, which maybe I can try that over this. I have a blue wax. And I think I might try that because it would probably go in these grooves better with a... Um, brush and I have a brush for the wax not the same color though let's see this is what I have it's turquoise satin let's see if I can find the brush that I used before hmm I got this cheapy brush. I'll go ahead and use it. Turquoise satin, it says, but let me grab this other piece of acetate. Just put some on that. Wow, it looks yellow to me. <laughs> I hope it's blue when it goes on. Mixture. 
since there's three layers, it's not wanting to get in there very good, but we'll make it work as, as good as possible, right? At least there will be some color to it with the gunmetal and this. Never done this before, so I'm just play and experiment. That's how we learn. <laughs> I don't know, you probably can't see it on camera, but it's it's coming out blue now. Once you rub it in, it's a real like icy shade of blue, so that'll work well. Just gonna pow it in there. How we gotta do it, I guess. Get it off the edge. Let's see if you can see this. I don't know if it's focusing or not. See how it's blue? So I'm just gonna. Finish going around here. Try to get in these crevices. anybody else has done this and has any tips well you know what I thought I could have done was taking taken uh, some cardstock and just layered it probably would take a lot more layers but that would have been a bit, probably a better option and then you have colored edges already colored for you I think I'm going to stop there. Wipe off the fingers. Let's put this aside. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some double-sided tape. My sinuses have been going for a couple days. I'm going to take double sided tape and go along the edges here. Now it's going to kind of be hard at the top to do that. But I'm going to try my best and probably glue at the very, very top. Probably can't even see what I'm doing. I apologize. This is mainly to get that uh, acetate down.
instead of having to glue it. Okay. But I am going to glue the top piece. So, um, you know, it sticks up here. Maybe I should do a wee little piece just in here. I'm a little bit worried about that. And then I can take the hole punch and go back through it, the tape if need be. Whoopsie. Kind of scooted over. Didn't want to go over that other tape. Okay. Now I'm just going to take my this and go over top of it to make sure it's down really well. I hear a car door, and if I pause, that means someone's at the door, and I'll be right back. So, okay, now it's time to fill it. So I have several options here. I have some sequins in different colors, and I definitely want this color. And then I bought this bag of, um, like, a bunch of different kinds of sequins at Walmart one time and one second sorry about that that was the neighbor looking for Rod he's at his mom's oh before I take the tape off there we go I'm going to um, put some of these in but what I wanted to show you was these are some of the pieces, I'm um, not using these big ones in here, but some of the pieces uh, were these little white snowflakes um, that I found in there that I thought would be cute. So I'm going to put some of those in. Very hard to pick up. And they're nice. Oops, there's a red heart in there that shouldn't be there. They're very staticky. So I get them stuck to my fingers. There's some bigger ones. I don't think I'm going to use the big ones. I just want the little ones in here. whole lot in there but I know I'm gonna <laughs> it's horrible okay so I definitely want this color because it matches really well but then there's one stuck to me Some of them are stuck together and I really don't want them to be doubled up. Oh, okay. I th at first I thought they were double-sided, but they're not. Okay, that should be enough. It's probably too many, huh? Because I'm not in another, a couple other colors. Okay, then we have the little silver ones. They're smaller. And I do want some of those in there. I'll just put a few of those. And then we also have 
dark blue ones. I'm going to put a few of those. Okay. So then what I'm going to do... Sorry about my phone thingy. Is I'm going to see... Make sure this fits over. Which, I, yeah, I think it will do okay. And then I'm going to take the tape off. Oops, that one didn't stick down, so I'm going to take this one off first. Give it a rub. This is pretty cheap tape. That's why it's not sticking down, I think. Go to this one. And That's, oh, look what it did. It tore it up. That is so not good. This was at the end of the roll, too. So I'm wondering if it went bad or something, because the other pieces came off fine. There we go. Okay. Just do this. Then we have to put the top on, which is going to be this one with the little mittens on it. So I'm going to try to glue this instead of, um, oh, I forgot to put these ones in. I also got these ones from AliExpress. Yeah. Use those another time. And I'm not sure how well this one will stick down. I probably should use tape on it because this, the glue will go into that. So how about I try that again? And then use glue on the outer limits of it. I'll try that. Mm. 
this way, and then I'll put one at the top. Which I probably could have just bent it that way. There we go. And I'm just going to try to rub it down so the tape sticks. I see people doing videos and they just use the tip of a one of the their exacto knives or something and get these things off so fast. Not me. <laughs> they make it look so easy. Okay, now I'm going to put some glue up here around the edges and stuff so I can make sure the paper gets stuck on the outer edges. I really don't want to put any inside there. this on straight there we go and then the back wish I could get that one out of there now this is uh, another piece that I cut. Now I wasn't going to use this, but since my uh, Sizzix is, is broke, I'm going to go ahead and use this for the back. I wanted to use um, coffee dyed paper. I thought this braille paper kind of reminded me of snow. I don't know why, but just did. Okay, I'm trying to put this on. Probably could have used one more layer. I'm thinking of uh, um, the the card, the book board, so it'd be just a little bit higher. But we still have movement in there, so this will work. Now I'm just looking for some ribbon here. wire in it? Yep, it sure does. I don't want that one. Here's one. Oh, it would also look pretty in there. Is that... Oh, I don't see it in front of me. That chiffon that I bought. And I need a hole punch. I don't see my... What you call it? So I'll use one of these. Oh, you know what? It's probably too thick. Yes, it is. 
where did you go? Sorry, guys. Hold on one second and I'll grab it. I was wondering where it went. My cat knocked it off the table. <laughs> where is it at? Oh, it's over this way. Okay. Tape made it stick in there. Let's see. There we go. Got it. Set that out of the way. Okay, I have this ribbon here. I think I might after I find my eyelash trim later, I might add it to it. I'm not sure yet. The plastic. Off. I like how that blue came out on the edges. It's really pretty. Okay. Oops. I think. Let's see if this. I'm going to cut that shorter, but I just want to see if I. This one will look right. Nope. I did it upside down, bunny ears. Just tie it regular. That didn't come out either. I don't like it anyways. And I think I want double this instead of just the two little pieces because it just looks too small. I probably should have used the bigger ribbon. <laughs> but I have that white fuzzy eyelash trim, but I have to get it out of the cabinet. Which I think would look pretty. But I'm just going to double this up. And I'll cut it after. Woohoo! Went through. I think I forgot to ask y'all too. How y'all? How are you all doing? I hope y'all are doing well. Okay. I'll cut these these way this way. And then I'm gonna cut this one this way. And there we go. We can also add something on later if we want to, like a sentiment or something down here. Not sure what I want to do yet, so but that's basically it and how you can make a little shaker out of your dies. And I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.